Hello guys, uh, Kiva Portugal. Um, I will tell you a little bit about I.O. interfacing from digital signals. That is a common question uh, if you have two systems which want to talk via a digital interface. Um, there is different technologies, uh, different voltages used by embedded systems. Uh, typically uh, Arduinos, Pis, uh, you hear 3.3 volt, you hear 5 volt. And how do you interface them without burning something? Now, the common way to do that is by a technique called open collector or open drain, uh, which is also implemented in our devices, uh, which works well since the relay ages and the button ages. And I explain you exactly how. So we have two devices here, one S1, uh, one system two, five volt powered and three or three volt powered. And if a connection breaks or something like that, what we want is that one side can see the open input as being inactive. To do that, we typically add a pull-up um, to the input. And with that pull-up, we make sure that the signal there is seen as high, high being inactive. So these signals are kind of inverted, they get active when they are close to ground. So this is uh, usually built into the device um, and allows you to, again, uh, if the input is open, it is considered being inactive, being read high. And you don't need to provide voltage from the other side. So to activate these inputs, you can simply connect them to ground with a switch. So that's your typical push button switch, click. With a relay, basically activating the, the switch is the usual one, an uh, optocoupler, uh, some sensor. Uh, so the open collector or open drain uh, interfacing is a very common way to drive a device to active without providing a voltage to it. So that's what we use in our devices. Consequently, our outputs, if we talk about the digital output, they are normally open drain, open collector. So they do the very same thing. They pull to ground if they are active. Now, if you want to make that visible, you would typically take an LED um, and with a resistor to not burn it, to uh, supply voltage. And when our output goes active, it pulls this signal to ground inside and the LED will be illuminated. So that's an easy way to test this. In contrast to that, there is uh, the traditional TTL signal is a push-pull signal, which will either pull uh, an output to ground or it will pull it to the operating voltage. But imagine this device with 5 volt would have a push-pull going into the input of that system where 3.3 volt is already high. This actually may, may burn things because this will provide active 5 volts into an input where it doesn't belong. So what do we do for that inside our, and this is now inside our devices, we have a little very low drop uh, diode, which here is actually our input. So consider this all in our system. So into our input, you can send voltage, it doesn't harm, because uh, whatever you send here, if it's higher than our uh, operating voltage, the diode will block it. When you pull that pin to ground, um, then you can signal active activeness. So pulling to ground is active. In the industrial world, uh, a lot of people do the high side drive. That means they deliver 24 volts to activate something or nothing. This is in the industrial world. This is not used in uh, small signal stuff like access control or payment or whatever. Here we really talk about interfaces which work like relays and contacts. We talk about this open collector, open drain, and that's what our devices do. So just to repeat that, on our outputs, our devices pull to ground when they are active. And if they are not active, they leave it floating open. So if you go with a voltmeter, you will not be able to measure 5 volt on an output if it's inactive, unless you pull it up with a resistor on the receiving side. And on the receiving side, our inputs have their uh, uh, pull-up and diode. So that means that when the input is not connected, it is clearly inactive. And uh, when somebody puts 12 volt, 5 volt onto it with a push pull, that still doesn't break anything. But active is low, which is sometimes hard to understand that to activate you have to read a zero. Okay, I stop here because this is just some basics and this is not basically a, a, a university grade uh, certificate uh, ready. But I hope that helps you to understand how our interfaces on our devices work. Thank you and talk to you soon.